do the wrong, the wrong thing. <coughs> that, sir, should be you. Let's wait a quick second. Coming in live, coming in hot. <coughs> yes. Are we live? Yes, I, be I believe we are. Yes, yes, yes. Live and in person on this Sunday morning, it is the Massey Art Studios. Yes, the Jeremy and Lee show. <laughs> oh, wow, you I have had some coffee today. Well. <laughs> um, good morning, Kay and Kay. We were just talking about the grab that ring, ring pull off the, we, off yeah, the top. Yeah, we were just talking about this piece that, uh, that I got from you um, that you guys did. It's a stunning ring pull. Oh my god, so beautiful. K, &K Create, thank you for that wonderful piece. I love I it. Um, Crafty Chicken Mom is here, Lily Bowers, the wonderful, the talented Jawiti is here. Uh, we've got Jerry Peters, Stacy Craddock, yay, I haven't seen you for a while. Bridget, Susan Chigori. Oh, nice. Is here again, thank you. Um, CCM is here too. So, um, everyone's asking about Le Pooch. Oh my gosh. The fur baby. The fur baby, yes. So uh, my uh, kind of summation of his visit so far is that in five days he has trained us very well. <laughs> I think is, is how I would, I would say he's doing so well, far. He's been, he's so smart, oh my, my gosh. God. Smart, smart, smart. But he, um, he learns fast. Yeah, real fast. Like, I already taught him how, in five days I've taught him how to sit, yeah. lay down, yeah. Um, he somewhat knows his name. He somewhat knows his name. He's getting better on the leash. Yes. He's only had a couple of accidents in the house and he doesn't yeah. hate the crate. And that was our fault. So overall, it was totally our fault because we weren't watching him properly. I think overall he's doing really well. He's definitely got to stop the biting and the nipping. Yeah. We need to make sure that, you know, which he, we're trying to teach him drop and those kind of things. He's so bloody cute. He is. Um, but we also have him trained to do the bell at the back door. And he's used the bell to go out, but he's also realized if he rings the bell, we take him out. Yes. So he had Jeremy up and down like 15 times once because he just wanted to go out in the garden. Yeah, he wanted fun. to go out and play, so yeah. he rang the bell. Yeah, he's like, let me know. <laughs> so we're at his beck and call. Um, he started with the trainer yesterday, which was cute. And then yeah. we're going to have him training two times a week. Two times a week. It's fun, but we yeah. are exhausted. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a little baby, so right, you know. So we're like taking it in turns to shower, we're taking it in turns to eat. Yeah, like it's it's a, we're on, on his schedule, for sure. Yeah, for now, but he's 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 learning well. Uh, Magdalene Magdalene Mueller is here. Oh hi! Holy moly, it's me Julie. Me Julie is here with us. Excellent uh, art by Julie E. Go yeah. check out her channel. Page Ta Tara Perry. Um, yeah, tons of, of, of names that I see all the bloody time. Thank you for being here. All right, Lesser yes. Tate. And because this is alive and he's actually in his crate sleeping right now, we won't have him on camera just yet, but we will show you in the next filmed episode for sure. Yes. But, Jeremy, you did this just the other day. Yes, I did. I resin this piece on one of the episodes. It's going to someone special. Mm -hmm. um, yes, and um, after she receives it, I'll tell you guys who it is. But this is just, it's uh, this bloom that I did with this little piggy yep. pigments. And I just love this piece. And the art resin, sorry, the art resin, the resin is Mixed Media Girls resin. It is, and, and it's like glass. It's stunning. It dried, cured perfectly. It looks yeah. amazing. Nate Bright is here with us. He's the inspiration for today's episode. He is. But Nate has inspiration for this from someone else. If you go and check out his channel, Nate Bright Art, you'll learn where that is. And Tara is here. Oh. One of my favorite fluid artists in the world, Tara, Pieces of Tara Art, is just here to say hello oh. as well. Hey, Tara. Uh, Carol Max here. Kathy Jay's here. Yeah, the crew. The posse. The, the Massey posse have arrived. So, Nate Brightheart. Yes. One of the Massey posse. Yes. Uh, he was a guest pourer at a previous fluid art experience. Yes. Did extremely well. Has a channel that is super innovative. Yes. Not afraid to try yeah. something new, always doing something. Oh, oh, Show Pony's got his fingers <laughs> dirty already. He's freaking out. Uh, go check out Nate Bright Art's channel, please, because he has some really wonderful kind of things that he's produced. And, and it's always just really fun to watch. Yeah, he does some really great stuff. Now, if you know what a Patreonage is, 
we uh, patronage is where there are some people who can subscribe to monthly subscriptions and they get some special bits and pieces from us here at Massey Art Studio. You yes. can check that out at patreon.com slash Massey Art Studio. That's P-R-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com. Why, why am I telling you this? Well, we did this for the Patreons in their exclusive live stream yesterday. Yes. And it's the flick and spin. Uh -huh. Show Pony, your humongous caveman-like hands are struggling to get they into are. those tiny ass medium-sized gloves. <laughs> yeah, I'm struggling over here. It's kind of painful. You need some baby powder or whatever you call it here. We call it talcum powder back home, but. Alright, that one went on good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, there we go. It was that like that time when you squeezed yourself <laughs> into that Spider-Man suit. We need to get some <laughs> Vaseline on you next time. Um, okay. Oh, this little piggy's here too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. guys. Just Janice is here. Oh, JP. hey Janice. And Steve, we've missed you guys. We know it's busy time for you guys because it's tax season, tax season soon because Susan's coming up. So thank you for being here. Um, yeah, go check out Nate Wright's channel. We're going to show you our version of the flick and spin based on Nate's recipe and his yes. tutelage. Yes. So we've got the Jessica Winterstrom from Winterstrom Art spinner here in front of us. We have a paintpoolstore.com spinner. We have a Jillian from uh, uh, Creations. Oh my goodness. Bell's Creations. Bell's Creations, yes. And we also have this one from Winterstrom, which we love. All three of them are great. Yes. How are you going to place that I'm canvas? Gonna... Huh. Place it right down. Like yeah. that. What size is that one? That's a 12 by 16. Yes, 12 by 16. All right, sir, talk me through this process. What's going on? Ah, oh, Cos Creations is here. Kathleen, our East oh, Coast hi, girlfriend. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and... Um, what I what you do is you flood your canvas first. Okay, let's do that first. Okay. Oh, paint's great first. Okay. Yeah, I, I mixed you up some paint's great and I mixed you up some white, but yes. I know you really enjoyed doing this on a black negative or like a dark I did, negative I did. space. Yeah. Okay. How would you say that consistency is, sir? Um it it leaves a trace for just like a couple of seconds. And then disappears. And then disappears. Actually we can see it really well on the screen. If you if you leave it to true, yeah, it looks really good. Actually, that's perfect. And this is actually Marcy's mixed media girls pouring media. It is. If you wouldn't mind flashing that. Oh yeah, this is mixed with uh with Marcy's pouring medium so from Mixed Media Girl. This .com. mix, this recipe is one of Nate's. Yeah. And it's about thirty to thirty thirty. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> 30 to 35 percent paint and then the rest is just pouring medium there's no water in this recipe whatsoever and you're just getting a nice kind of coat of that across the top of the yeah. canvas right yeah did you enjoy this technique yesterday i did i really enjoyed this technique i thought it was so much fun i didn't love it yeah, you didn't like it so much. But it was because it didn't. I didn't like what happened. So I was like that petulant child. I was like, I don't like it. I need. To, <laughs> I definitely need to practice this one more for sure. Well, I think what was happening was was that your flick was you were flicking to the right as you flicked instead of flicking straight on. Okay. And it was causing there to be a curve in um in your flick in, in the composition instead of just being a straight that was a very interesting observation and i would love for you to talk people through that when we get to the flickage yeah. part of this technique if you don't mind of course uh judith's artistry is here yeah. hello oh, judith hello. and anyone else that i've missed we say this all the time on the channel but i'm going to say it to you in person that we appreciate that you guys have got a million things that you could be doing right now you could be spending it with your family. You could be painting in your own art studios. Hey, you could be just sitting on your butt cheeks, drinking a cup of coffee. All yeah. that is amazing. However, you choose to spend it with us. And for that, we really appreciate it. Yes. So thank you so very much. So that's a really lovely base coat of just... Payne's Grey. Right, okay. I do love that color. I do love this color. Payne's yeah. Grey is an amazing, amazing color. Now, I just sent out a quick update. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, okay. I sent out a quick update to all the students. Oh, okay. Um, about the fluid art experience. Oh, yeah. It's happening, not the students, I'm sorry, the teachers. It's happening in April in Seattle. And um, I just let the guys know that some of the classes that some of the people have are actually already half booked out. 
Did you hear that? Yes. What, that did, they, what did I just say, show pony? You, uh, you let everybody know, yeah. the students, that the classes are half booked out. Absolutely. Tell everyone at home. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I just did. <laughs> exactly. um, so, for example, Sarah Taylor has some classes that are already half booked. We've got a class that's almost already half booked. Kathleen has a class that's got like 13 people already booked in it. So I know it's like three and a half months away, but please, please, please do not wait to book classes because if you do, you might, might be out. Uh, Pieces of Tara, the wonderful Tara art from Pieces of Tara Artistry has tons of people booked in her classes. Britta Clayton actually almost has one of her classes fully booked. Yeah. Her only classes. So yeah, lots of fun stuff going on. All right, so now that I got my base coat down, um, what you do next is you puddle pour uh -huh. in the center. Yeah, I was thinking about this this morning. This is like five different techniques in one. Yeah, you've pretty much. You've got puddling, you've got flicking, flicking. you've got spinning, yeah. you've even then got balloon dipping. So yeah. yeah, it's really interesting. Yeah. All right, go for it. Uh, the TLP gals actually have their HQ in Seattle, so they're super excited because oh we're so close to them. Yeah. No more excited than us, and if this is the lovely L, Hello to your sweets. Can't wait to see you and give you a big squeeze. Okay, now I'm going to do something that we did... Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. Um, but what I have to do first is I'm going to put a little bit of a puddle of the, the Payne's Gray. The negative space color. Yeah, the negative okay. space color. Just now, a little bit. people might not have seen Nate do this. So I'm, I'm excited to hear your narrative as you go through this. Yes. So I just put a little bit there to help it flow more whenever I flick it. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to put some brown. Delicious brune. Now this is not Dick Van Dyke brown. It's, it's actually, not. No, it's actually one of the umbers from Amsterdam. Oh, got it. Yes. Like a burnt umber. Paula is here. Hello, Paula. All right. Carla is here too. And then I'm going to go in with some of this. That actually is a Liquitex Basics color. It's actually the permanent light green. Oh, it is permanent light green. Yes. That's nice. So uh, if I may explain, we've always, what we've seen um, Nate do is lay some monochromatic or some colors onto the canvas and he's flicked it and then he's layered some more colors onto it. And yeah. that's all we're doing here. Jeremy's doing this in a puddly style. Yes. But what we've always noticed was that it creates a wonderful, almost pinwheel or flower type yeah. design, right? Sure. So we're kind of emphasizing that now with a potential flower esque Yes. Design, like color yes. palette. Okay. Yes. Go for it. So I'm going to go ahead and I use the brown, the greens to... Uh, puddle pour. To puddle pour, but um, so that way it looks like branches and leaves uh -huh. coming off of it. I so that. I'm going to go ahead and flick. Now, you don't want to flick like this because you're only going to hit your canvas, really. Got it. Um, you want to flick like this. Sideways. Sideways. Okay. Um, without putting your pinky... <laughs> and hand in the paint. Okay. Um, so whenever you flick it, you just like that. Woohoo! Yes. This is kind of fun. Now you can see why we've got our doggy paddling pool, which we use for blooming on yeah. the table. Because if that was not there, I would now be covered in paint. Yeah. Which actually probably would make a more fun episode for some people at home. Um, Paula, Acrylic Creations by Jane Whittier Boys here. Bridget's here. Gina DeLuca. Gina DeLuca's here. Oh my gosh. Hey, Gina. Hey, G girl. Uh, G, I just sent you an update of your fluid art classes as well. They are booking, my love. If you want to see Gina at the Fluid Art Experience, please go check out www.fluidartexperience.com. Now, that is very pinwheely. Yes. I do love that. Yes. Are you excited? Yeah. So basically, you just flicked the paint across the canvas. I did. And I love it on a paint's gray background. I do love it on a paint's gray background. It looks really cool. You're welcome. And the brown even really stands out. It does stand out, yeah, interestingly, but I guess it's that really lovely umber, which yes. makes total sense. We are starting a pouring train today. Yes. And after us, it is the stunning, talented, and highly vocal stylings of uh, Gina DeLuca. She's going to be pouring up next at 30 minutes past the hour. Yes. Then it's Mina, and then it's Sarah Mack, before Brian of Upper Valley Artistry, and then Nate. So you've got five or six people pouring in today's today's um, pouring train, which is fun. Sarah's joining the train, which is I'm excited about. Yeah. Bear's Den is here. Oh. Uh, Gabe, right? Yes, like yes. Brother. Yeah. Yes. Brother-in-law, 
Depp was okay. here. See, now something that I wanted to, to show you guys was whenever I was flicking it, I flicked down to the canvas right. and it showed the canvas, but when it sits, the paint just folds in on totally. itself and it covers that part that I flicked. So I guess it's important to know that, that you've got to have just enough base coat that it's going to fall back on itself, but not too much base coat yes. as well, right? Okay. What's next, shall we? I'm gonna just... Maveni's here, she says hello to everyone. Oh, hi. So okay, 67 so 67 people with us on this. Oh my gosh, Sunday. that's awesome. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna do a little bit of you're gonna do a little bit more of the negative space, or you're not? No, I'm okay, not. Got it. Okay, no, I'm not. Coleridge, um, but as far as color goes, mm -hmm. I think I'm going to start with this. Okay, that is actually mm. one of the another Amsterdam color, yeah. it's one of the um violet, I think it's the red violet. Okay, yes. permanent red violet, yes, yes, yes. All of the Amsterdam colours in all sizes, including the Expert series, can be purchased at fluid-art.com. Yep. Interesting that you're putting the blue in because we didn't put that in yesterday, so I'm excited to see yeah. that turquoise. Love it. And then I'm actually going to go in with... That is Azo Orange. This is. Champagne's just throwing caution to the wind. Well, you know what I was thinking is, if you look at a bird of paradise, how it has those beautiful colors and it has that pop of orange that comes out. Oh, I love it. That's what I was thinking of whenever no, I, I was it. doing I love this. it. I love it. Are you going to do the purples or is no, that it? That's it. I'm just doing these three simple colors. Well, look at you. Yes. Color me excited. Yes. I didn't know that was going to be your um, your plan, so I'm yes. really interested to see what happens. Okay, are we ready for this? Yeah, uh, yeah. So you didn't spin out your base. I didn't notice. Yeah, I didn't spin out the base. That was intentional. Or yeah. Did you forget? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to spin out my base. Oh my gosh. It's okay. Well, you've got time to do another canvas, so go for yeah. it. Okay. okay. So flick this one right. and then there's a spin. And right? then there's a spin, yes. I probably put you off because I was chit chatting too much. Oh, that wasn't a good flick. It's crazy. Oh, that was good. And it went over. Now, because I didn't. Let's see here. I'm going to do one more flick to break that up. It's very Jackson Pollocky. It is. It is. <clears throat> now, you know I love neat lines, order. Yes. You know, that that's probably one of the reasons why I'm struggling a little bit with this technique, because there is nothing neat or straight lined about this technique whatsoever. No. But I'm loving that you're having fun with it. Oh, I'm having a blast with this. So now to spin it out. Now I'm gonna spin it out. Okay, I still love the um, see the green on here. Yeah, I'm gonna spin it, go ahead and spin it out now. Okay. All right, here we go. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Love it. And uh, because has a trigger finger, she said she'd be good at this. <laughs> <laughs> you would be good at this. Great Colors by Julie E. Um, oh, Joyce, Wine Garner is here. Oh, hey. It's a, do you know, Joyce, it's a very new technique for us. We've only done this twice. Yes. Yesterday was off camera. Today, we're just going for it. Yes. Show Pony is just throwing caution to the wind and, and having a go. Yeah. There you go. Oh, I think it's Anuka. Huh. Hang on a second. Is she here with us? Hang on a second. Let me just see. Did I spot her somewhere then just for a second? So Nate was, yes, yeah, she is, a Nuka Fluid Art Design. So I think that the original kind of creator, if you like, of the flick and spin was actually a Nuka, yeah, Fluid Art Design. And it was Nate who saw a Nuka and it's us that have seen Nate. Exactly. So we're just paying it forward and passing it on. A Nuka, if this is yours, Jeremy absolutely loves this and he's having an absolute ball. With oh my it. God, so, so much. Thank you for showing Nate and letting us have a go. Next, show poem. Okay, so next what I'm going to do with the center is... I have a balloon. Okay. And I'm going to balloon dip the center and then spin it out again. Okay. So. Do it. This is like Jilly, Jilly Cube is the person that we see balloon dip on yeah. the storm. I do a little bit of... Ooh. Ooh. I like that. I don't think I'm going to balloon dip it again. No? No, I really like that. Yeah, it actually looks really pretty on Camarara. I like it. Yes, thank you, Nate. It was Anuka. Thank you for that. 
looking good, Jeremy, even without the first spin. So yeah, I guess you don't need to, you, I mean, you just showed that you didn't spin it the first time yeah. around. Play with this is kind of the name of the game. Oh yeah, just absolutely. Just have fun with it, right? Yeah. Okay. Now you're gonna spin it out again? Yes. Okay. Because I want that sensor to kind of blend out a right. little bit to be more, you know, with the painting. So, oh, thank you, Amy. You're an absolute sweetheart. You do so much for us already. So that $20 super chat is very well, uh, very much appreciated. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. You definitely don't need to. I did just see a, a question. Would this still work if I don't have the same mediums of you? Absolutely. This is not exclusive to Marcy's pouring medium at all. No. In fact, Nate uses Floatron. Yes. Jeremy, is that you done? I'm done with this one. Okay. I'm oh, wait, going let me to... torch it real quick. I'm going to pick this up for you. I love this. This is this is definitely your best one so far. So, oh, thank this you. This is a piece that Jeremy did yesterday, where he just layered the same colours twice, which I thought was really pretty. Yeah. But I do love the depth that you create by layering those second colours. Now we are absolutely stealing Nate's thunder a little because he told us already that this was his plan to do this. Yes. After we showed it, um, he was like, "I was going to do that." So Nate, I'm sorry if you, if you feel as though we're stealing your thunder. We're just having a go and play now. Oh, please, yeah. Nate is going to do amazing with this. Oh my God, yeah, oh. like showing us up for sure. Oh yeah. All right, Chopin, you've got time to do one more if you move a little quicker, and I'll stop putting you off. <laughs> if I move a little quicker. Well, I'm, it's, I'm the one that's put you off by chit chatting all the time. Okay, let's do it on a white background. Really? Really. I do like the. I do love those darker backgrounds. I know. But I'm glad you're doing something different. All right. Yeah, Nate was in our Patreon yesterday in our live stream and we showed him what we were doing. He was like, I'm doing that on the channel. I was like, yeah, of course you are. He's so innovative. But he will take it to an absolute level. I love his Nautilus pores. That's what he taught at the Fluid Art Experience. Yeah. Yeah, they were, the, the students' Nautilus pores were stunning. Hey, it's Kathy Mack. Oh, hey, Kathy. My neighbor from back home. Kathy lives about three minutes away from where I grew up. Um, so she, hearing Kathy always sends me right back home again. Um, the puppy's settling in fine. So Tate Bernadoodle, if anyone is at all interested, you can follow him on Instagram at Tate Bernadoodle because I didn't want to bombard everyone with a million pictures on my socials, did we, Jeremy? Um, I did. I did. <laughs> So Tate Bernadoodle is doing really well. He's a Bernadoodle, he's a mini, so he's gonna to grow to about 25, 30 pounds. Yeah. And he's doing just great. So we're like super excited about him. He's settling in fine. He's training us to open the door for him whenever he wants to go out and play in the back garden. But he's, Jeremy's already got him to sit and take treats and we yeah. taught him his name. And yeah, he's doing really well. He's doing great. Tater, Tater is in his crate right now because we're crate training him as well. Yes. But he's sleeping really well at night. He is. Really well. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of puddle of the, the white again in the middle. Linda Lambert's in the UK too, of course. Hello, Linda. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, yeah. I'm going to add some brown and green. Okay. Uh, you know no, what? No, you know what? I'm going to challenge I'm... you to do it okay. the first way that you did it. Okay. Like, do, it, do it with your same colors. Okay, well, I'm going to go with the Prussian blue first. Okay, that's this one. Oh, Prussian blue. Prussian oh, blue. yeah, that's paint. That's paint. Sorry. Yeah. Kathleen's like, wake his butt up. We played with him for about three hours this morning, and we did a little bit of training, so he's, he's sleeping. But we are going to get to filming some more episodes this week, so we'll show him to you guys on camera at some point soon. I'm going to go in with some silver. Ooh. Roxanne Sexton. People are like, I was, I was only here to see the dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe at the end. Do you want to grab it? We won't, so? ha we won't have time today, but promise me that you'll come back to see us on Tuesday and we'll actually have him on the episode. We didn't want to be those people that were like, you know, constantly showing off the dog. Right. Probably there's anything wrong with that, but, you know, we're conscious of it. I'm going to throw some caution to the wind. Oh, my gosh. Jeremy. Cause like I'm sad. Show us the baby. You will. Pro I promise you, you'll get to see him very soon. All right. Yes. So Jeremy's laid down a a puddle of the base, and yes. then he's throwing here on top a cacophony of wonderful colours. 
before flicking it out um, across this canvas. You've got yes. six minutes left to finish this. Oh God, okay, all yeah. right. Ooh. This is the flick of the flick and spin. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm like going really fast. That's what I was doing yesterday. Yes. Flick it. Yeah, I'm going to go back over here and okay. flick it some more. Okay. Oops, that was more of a push. A drag. A drag. Hmm. See, mm. maybe that's what I was doing. Maybe I was just rushing it because your first one went... <laughs> <laughs> that, lit, that paint literally oh flew God, that right over the top hilarious. of the gravy pool pad. All right, spin this one out this time. Yeah, I'm going to spin this one out. Because that's what we didn't do yesterday. <laughs> Gretchen was like, bullseye! <laughs> <laughs> As long as it's not Lee's eye, then that's that's all that matters. Um, Tate is a little nervous. He's got a nervous disposition, um, something that we're working with him with his brand new trainer on. Um, I don't know why. He, there was three kids in the house of the breed that he came from, so I'm wondering if he was tormented a little bit. No, he wasn't. He was absolutely loved. He, he was he was treated really well. Um, I didn't mean that at all. But um, so I'm, I, if we can if we can get him to be a lot more of a just a, a a fun-loving dog, then absolutely we're going to be bringing him with us wherever we go. Yeah. I don't think he'll make it to Seattle, though. He's going to be too much of a distraction for me, but we'll oh, see. Oh, right. So we're at 11.25, Jeremy, so you keep going. I'm going to tell everyone at home that it is a pouring train today, which will consist of Gina DeLuca going up right after us at 11.30 Central, then it's Mina, and then I believe it's Sarah, and then I think it's Brian from Upper Valley's Artistry, and then it's Nate Bright Art. So there is a fun old pouring train going on today. Please check out as many of them as you can. Yes. And if you go there and you weren't planning on it, tell them we sent you. Because they would love to know that too. Absolutely. If people dropped into the Fluid Art Live, they would think we're crazy flicking pain. Right. They absolutely would. Like, what in the heck are you guys doing? I'm sure we're going to get that in the comments anyway. That's not art. My three-year-old can do it. Well, if your three-year-old can flick. <laughs> Ooh, love that one. Yay. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay. You're going to spin her out again? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, Nate and I were talking about this yesterday. Putting two different sets of colors on top absolutely helps that kind of depth that you get within the composition as you're kind of then spinning this one out. Yeah. It's a lot of fun, guys. It's just like the marbling technique and some of the other fun techniques where you're, you know, touching and dragging and manipulating the pain. It's just fun. It is fun. If you get a really fun composition at the end of it, then why not? Okay, now I'm gonna do my balloon dip. Okay. I really like how these colors are. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Pick it up. Oof, here we go. Hmm. You gonna go in for a second dippage? Yeah. Do it. There we go. I love it. Yeah, that's better. And it's going to, it definitely will kind of fall back into itself again in the sense. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's very like red, white, and blue with a bit of purple in there too. Oh uh, yeah. I'm thinking of the Duchess, um, who's one of our patrons. Please send Elaine Burton a lot of love and healing. I know she's had a very minor little operation this week, so we're just thinking of you. Her favorite color is purple. I like that show, Pony. It's mesmerizing. He's mesmerizing you with his spinny canvas, saying, look into my canvas, you're feeling very <laughs> sleepy. I love the cells that I'm getting because of the silver and the pewter that I've you put in there. You will subscribe to Matty Studios <laughs> if you haven't already. Listen to the sound of my voice. Oh my gosh! You were yeah, I do. I do love the cells. We we didn't get cells in any of the other pieces that we did. Yeah, yeah I think is... I do think that my favorite though is the the Payne's Gray piece that you just did. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's right. It's already like looking really awesome down there. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, people. It is eleven twenty eight. That yeah. was two fun and fast and furious pieces yes. from Massey Art Studios. Thank you for being here with us. We appreciate you. Please follow the train. Yes. To Gina, 95 people here right now. Oh, wow. To Gina G, Gina G? Gina D. Gina DeLuca. Gina DeLuca. 
then it's Mina, then it's Sarah Mack, okay. then it's Brian, and then it's Nate Bright. We were inspired by Nate to do this pour yeah. today. We saw it on his channel, but I believe he saw it on another channel. And Anuka. Anuka's channel, yeah. So go check them out, because they are aficionados. Yeah. And we are but Padawans. <laughs> <laughs> the flick and spin. Um, Kathy... CCM, Pieces of Tara, thank you to Tara and to Coz, our wonderful mods for being here. And Nate Bright, thank you for everyone for being here with us. You have the very best weekends. It's MLK Day on Monday. It is. Um, so do something that would make sense to you on that day. Um, you know, whether it's just a bit of knowledge or watching something of historical value exactly. is what I would encourage you all to do. Um, or just do like Martin Luther King and love. Oh, I love that show, Pony. Well, look at you with your words of wisdom. On that note, I'm going to shut the F up and let you guys go. Have a great Sunday. We love you all. Thank you for being here. Yes. I love this show, Pony. Well done. Thank you. It's a really, really fun piece. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. We'll show you Tate in the next episode. Go to Gina DeLuca now. I know she's got something really awesome planned. Oh.